Okay, so to introduce Excel, I am going to have you follow along with me in this video. Just to note, it will look slightly different than mine because I'm on a Mac right now and you're going to be on a PC, but you're pretty much going to follow the same steps. So follow along with me here as we go through and I'll kind of get you set up to work on your pixel art. First and foremost, uh, you're going to go into Excel, open up a blank workbook. It should be in the top left hand corner, um, something that looks like this. And uh, just a couple key notes here before we get going. Uh, in Excel, you're going to see letters along the top. Uh, letters are represented by columns that go up and down. Rows, which go side to side, are represented by numbers. And when we are in one selected, we call it a cell. Right now I'm in cell B3. You're going to see your mouse be able to select a couple different ways based on where your mouse is positioned in your cell. When you see a big white plus sign like this, that's going to allow you to select what's called a range. So this is a specific range of cells. In my example, I have cell a range of B3 up through C5. If you put your mouse on the edge of it, not a PC, it's going to be a black double pointed arrow. You can move that cell around. And then eventually we'll get to this, but if you put it on the little green dot in the corner, it's going to end up being a black plus sign where you can autofill specific data and formulas. But we're not going to worry about that too much right now. What we are going to create today is something that is called pixel art. So we're going to work on resizing our cells and using our paint bucket tool. Here are a bunch of examples. If I move in on these and just kind of show you, each of these is its own individual cell uh, colored separately. Obviously, some of these are a little bit more complex than others. So the you know big dragon there or the Brian or the Stewie or the Goofy are going to take a little bit longer than maybe the French fry or the uh, Spider-Man might. So what you'll do in your Excel workbook is up in the top left hand corner you're going to click right up here between the A and the 1 and that's going to allow you to select everything in the workbook so we're going to select that and then you're going to right click on any column I don't care which column it is we're going to right click and select column width and we're going to change the width to 2 and then go ahead and click OK All right, now you'll notice your cells are more closely resemble little squares. And then you can kind of watch me here, and then I'm going to let you go off and do your own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out on the Internet, and I am going to search for pixel art simple or pixel art easy. Um, we're going to start with an easy one, then you're going to go to one that's a little bit more complex. And make sure that as you're picking a picture, it's something that has like these grid lines on it, so it's easier to count versus something like this where it's going to be hard to count. And uh, we'll start with a simple one. Maybe don't pick this heart. Find something else. We're going to copy the image, so I'm going to right-click on that and hit Copy. And then I'm just going to paste this anywhere in my document and go ahead and resize it here. Okay, so what I'm going to use up in the top corner here is the paint bucket tool and I'm going to start with the outline and I'm going to put my mouse over the black color I'm going to start with my outline here and I'm going to start on this cell here and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move around a little bit versus always using my mouse and uh, I'm going to start right here I'll just count down to so I'll go one two and you'll notice that my mouse isn't really leaving the paint bucket um, I'm just kind of following the pattern that I see up here. Um, let's say I make a mistake on accident. I could either undo that action or over here on the right, I could simply uh, clear the format of the cell as well. But I'll do the outline here. We'll get our little indentations. Okay, so I got the outline of my shape done and then... Now I need to fill in the middle. It would kind of take me a long time if I wanted to do each of these individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a range. And I can do it that way. Or if I hold down the control key on my keyboard, I can select multiple ranges at once like this and fill things in a little bit easier. And we'll kind of finish this off with a little white. Go white there. 
All right, and there's my pixel art. I can just delete that picture from here and I have one done. So I'd like you to start with an easy one, move your way up to maybe one that's a little bit more complex, like the ones that you see in my examples here and just save this into your H drive. I look forward to seeing what you come up with next class.